Okay, we're gonna get out of city mode here. Let's go up to normal mode here. Uh, we're over 100 feet now. Let's go back to uh, video. Okay, and let's go back to, uh, let's try a little of that 5K footage there. So, boom, uh, 5.1K, 30 frames per second. Uh, white balance is probably okay. Let's uh, fly down this direction with the sun at our back right now. Alrighty. Let's move out over the ocean a little bit here. See if we get a good signal out here. At the curve of the island here. Okay, I like that there. Uh, let's, uh, let's check our settings one more time here. Uh, okay, let's go. Uh, okay, I still, I'm going to go 4.5 on the aperture there. And uh, let's see here, the shutter. Let's get that shutter down just a little bit. Okay. Um, that, that seems good. 240. Uh, yeah, you know, we can go, but we can fix. See, you don't really need ND fillers if you've got an adjustable aperture here. I know some people don't care about adjustable aperture. And, you know, it's not a deal killer. It's, drones like the Air 2S are great with, um, you know, just automatic aperture. But uh, it is nice to have it here. Because, see, I just did have an ND filler. I got my shutter speed down a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit there by uh, going higher. And 5.6 is a pretty sharp. Uh, let's go 6.3. Maybe I can go down to 200 shutter. Um, yeah, that, uh, you know, was that too overexposed? Um, you know, I don't think so. Uh, but let me, uh, I tend to like the, you know, I tend to can lighten things up, uh, more like a darken them down. Uh, let's go, uh, one more time. Yeah, let's go 240 on that shutter. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. And decisive here, but, uh, okay. So let's, uh, hit our record button here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run down here in just normal color mode and then we'll uh, back it up and uh, kind of do the same flight and we'll do some D-log here. Okay. So let's, let's boogie on down the beach here. You know, I think, you see, you can see there was a beach erosion here. See the, the cliffing, as they call it at, down here? I never heard the word cliffing before. But there's definitely some beach erosion going on here. So we're going to hug the coast here, fly almost right to the um, right of the beach erosion. And let me get a little bit of height here. And there's somebody on the beach, so let's uh, let's get. A, oh, we weren't really over them. We we're just aiming the camera at them. We're up on this. We're right over the cliffy now, and they're down by the water line. So we're good. We're good, folks. We'll just stay right over this cliffing here, because probably nobody could walk on this cliffing. You know what? I'm going to stop here for a second, and uh, I don't think I have to turn the video off. I'm going to hit the two X button. That's something new you could do here. So you can see the cliffing even better now with the 2X on. So um, let's go down here a little bit further. This is where the island curves down here. You look kind of towards the land here. Um, there's Summers Point over there. Not Summers Point. There's a uh, Sea View Harbor over there on your left. Right, sorry, right. Uh-oh, is there somebody else on the beach there? Let me get out here over the water here. Okay, we're over the water. Okay, it says weak signal, so let's go up a little higher. Okay, we did get a little weak signal. Okay, now our, our signal's clear again there. Okay, we're, we're good. We're over 200 feet. We just need to get up a little bit higher. Okay, so you can see the curvature of the island there. I'm going to yaw to the left here so you can see that curvature. Okay, it's telling me I'm in some kind of a warning zone, even though I checked, um, you know, um, all the uh, maps here, and it didn't say I had any uh, restrictions. So let's uh, let's confirm that. Okay, I assume off responsibility because there was nothing on air map. Okay, so let's uh, it's giving me that weak signal thing. So let's uh, let's do a return home here. See how that goes. I'm doing it on the physical controller here. I'm using the standard yeah. controller, the RC something or another. The RC Pro is a good one. This is the one that comes in the box, the RC. I don't know why they, it used to be they just call it the controller. Why they have to give it a fancy name now, I don't know. But uh, here we come back. And we're coming back in the old the old school, you know, uh, return home mode where it just goes up to its um, pre-destination height and then flies back. So uh, we're going a little old school here. So...
So she's coming home. Uh, we got 55% left on the battery here. So yeah, we can you know clear. As you can see, it's about a cloud in the sky, clear as can be. Uh, line of sight is great today, so uh, we can take the uh, probably the, the zoom off there. So. Yeah, so again, this is the new uh, app update. I had on moving around here. I don't see anything different than I did before. Um, you know, over the previous the uh, uh, one dot five dot eight, but um, you know, we only tried a few things here. We're good. We got twenty satellites. Satellites still kind of came on the slow side. I mean, it was like uh, you know, like three minutes before I really had all my satellites in place. So um, it is what it is on the satellites for right now. Alrighty, so uh, we're. We're almost back now. C cruising back here at uh, 25 miles per hour. I don't know how bad the wind is up there. I mean, it's almost no wind down here at the ground level. I don't know how much it increases up there at, at, at height there at the 300, 383 feet. So, okay, we're almost back now. So we're gonna like turn this off. Boom. Okay. We wanna, you know, go down here, turn around. We're gonna kind of do the same flight again, but we're gonna do the, use the uh, D-Log. I think we were at the, we started off flying at about, uh, you know, a little over a hundred feet. So that's what we'll do again. Okay, there we, that's a good height here. Okay, let's uh, stop this video here. Sorry, I said to record that whole mess there. Um, okay, now let's go back into our um, settings here. And we get that little box. I love that little box. Okay, we're going to go over the D-Log. And now uh, we're going to turn on that color, uh, color assist display there, which... <laughs> it helps. Doesn't help that much, huh? Uh, but, of course, um, you know, probably the settings I have kind of did that too. Let's go back to the auto settings. Okay, the auto settings... Made it look better. My settings probably didn't, um, you know, um, weren't weren't as good on the D log as they were on the regular. So let's just go auto for the D log here, you know, uh, since I can change anything I want in post. You know, why worry about it now? So okay, we're gonna go for a while. We're gonna record. We're gonna go for a while, and then we'll come back and uh, somewhat down down there. We're gonna turn the two the two axle on here and zoom in. But we're gonna kind of replicate the flight as much as we can here fly over this cliffing here i think i see somebody up ahead there oh, that's just something on the beach actually some kind of object on the beach actually no there's a man with a dog all righty so this is kind of what we were doing before okay let's turn that um 2x back on again so we can see the cliffing better We'll slowly go up here because we know we get the signal loss down here. All right, we're back down to about where we were before to where the, the, the curves, the, the island, you know, curves here. And then we're getting a weak signal again, so we'll go up high again like we did before. Get rid of it. You can see the curve of the owl, and I'm not going to fly as far this time since we are coming down on battery a little bit. There's the bridge. There's um, kind of a long part bridge, I think they call it. Uh, so, okay, let's, um, you know, let's turn this puppy around here and uh, fly this thing back home again. Actually, we're not even going to fly it back home. We're going to um, do return to home. Sorry, it takes when you have, you have when you don't have, yeah, it takes forever to yaw these things around. Okay, here we go. So this time we're gonna go up to uh, the settings here, and we're gonna do um, safety, and we're gonna do advanced return to home this time rather than do the the old school one. So let's see how it goes with the, uh, you know, the new return to home. So we're gonna hit return to home now. And return home. Whoops, didn't do it long enough. Doing the screen this time. The other Go time home. I think I did it on the controller. Okay. So here, here is the advanced return to home. See what it does different. 
You know, I don't think it took because we're do we went that 329 feet. And we're doing the exact same thing, returning home. So I don't think, uh, you know, I don't think anything changed. I must have did something wrong. So, okay, we're recording in, uh, still recording here. I don't know why I record, record and return home, but uh, we are. So, okay, it's coming back here, 25 miles per hour, just the same as before. And we still have 40% battery life, so we're doing good on the battery. You know, and uh, I lost some signal, but I did have the Yagi's on today. So, uh, I guess the Yagi's didn't really uh, make all that difference. And, you know, uh, there was a test where um, I'm using the regular standard controller today. It was a test where the um, the RC Pro got much better range than the uh, standard controller. And, you know, that may be something to that since, uh, you know, I didn't really get all that great a range with the, uh, the regular controller today. So, uh, yeah, maybe something to that, folks. Who knows? Bear, oh, bear, more testing, of course. That's what we're here for. Test things out. All right, so we're back here. So we're going to cancel this return to home here. And uh, fly back out this way. And let's stop this video here.